Hello, I just want to make another quick update on the last couple of videos that I did on the subject of the horizon and in particular um, looking at Toronto from across Lake Ontario. Now what I'm going to be doing is answering a point, a, a claim that comes up again and again from flat earthers in the comments, which is that if you zoom in on something in the distance, then you will see more of it. You won't, it won't just look bigger, you'll see more of it. Okay, now as explained in the, the video I did about this, okay, there is nothing in our understanding of optics that would make something on a flat plane look like it was behind a horizon line and sinking below it. Nothing. It's an absurd claim. There's even less reason to suppose that you could bring it back into view with a telescope or a zoom lens. When you zoom in on something on the horizon, it just gets bigger. You don't see more of it. And I'm going to demonstrate that with a couple of videos here that you can watch. Now let me go full screen. Just watch this one here, first of all. So this is someone looking at Toronto from across the lake. And they zoom in. Now, did you notice that? Did you notice that the amount of Toronto that is visible doesn't change? It just gets bigger. From there to there to there, to here. I mean, for example, look at this shape here, like the top of an H next to the CN Tower. You see that same shape all the way in. You're not seeing more of Toronto by zooming in. That's a complete lie. Okay, there's no evidence to back up a claim like that, and there's not even any rational reason for believing that it would be true in the first place. It's a ridiculous claim. It's a lie. Let's have a look at another one. Now in this case, in this situation, the person is going to zoom out. So they've zoomed right in on Toronto. And then the zoom right out. Now, if we take a few shots, a few look at the video in a few different places, and we can see the same thing. You can clearly see that as we zoom out, we're not seeing less of Toronto, it's just getting smaller. You're seeing exactly the same amount, whether you're looking at it from here, here, or here. You're not seeing less of it as you zoom out. You're not seeing more of it as you zoom in. Okay, it's a lie. This is a lie. It's not only lie, a lie. Like I said, it's completely irrational. It doesn't even make sense. It's just one of those half-baked, ad hoc excuses that flat earthers come up with to avoid the obvious, which is what you, which is that what you're looking at here is Toronto behind the curve of the earth. It's the only feasible interpretation of what you're looking at. Now, I've already had a flat earther look. I linked one of these videos to a flat earther. And they've, they actually claim that that's not what you're seeing. They looked at the video and claimed that that's not what you're seeing. You know, and it's at points like that where I genuinely wonder if these people are sane or not. You have to wonder at the sanity of someone who's making a claim like that. They're looking at something that shows them clear evidence of something and they actually deny the evidence they're seeing with their own eyes. 
That's demented. And I just quickly, I want to say something else about this because flat earthers always claim that what they're promoting is a common sense movement. That it's encouraging people to look at what they see in the world and use their common sense to tell them what it means or what, what they're looking at. Well, I see this and my common sense tells me that there's a curve. But apparently no, apparently that's a naive interpretation. Apparently the right interpretation is something completely counterintuitive, which is that Toronto is sinking below a horizon on a flat plane. Well, that goes against the supposed spirit of this whole thing, which is apparently a common sense movement. But what they're asking you to do is interpret this, is to interpret this in a completely counterintuitive way. Well, my common sense tells me that that's curvature. I don't know what else you could possibly interpret, how you, you could possibly interpret that as being a flat plane. You, you know what I mean? You, you, you're, either, you're either very stupid or you're a total liar. Okay, either you're lying to other people or you're lying to yourself, okay? And dishonesty is the single biggest defining characteristic of the whole flat earth movement. I've never encountered such revolting levels of dishonesty as I have in this ridiculous movement. It's lies. There's not even a debate there's nothing, there is no debate, there are facts and evidence that all support the spherical earth and there are liars who are denying it. That's all that's going on.